let us continue our reading from Pope Francis's apostolic exhortation on the call to holiness in today's world, Gaudete and Exultate. A doctrine without mystery, are from Articles 40. Gnosticism is one of the most sinister ideologies because while unduly exalting knowledge or a specific experience, it considers its own vision of reality to be perfect. Thus, perhaps without even realizing it, this ideology feeds on itself and becomes even more myoptic. Myopic. It can be all the more illusory when it masks itself as disembodied spirituality. For Gnosticism, by its very nature, seeks to domesticate the mystery, whether the, whether the mystery of God and His grace or the mystery of others' lives. When somebody has an answer for every question, it is a sign that they are not on the right road. They may be false prophets who use religion for their own purposes, to promote their own psychological or intellectual theories. God infinitely transcends us. He is full of surprises. We are not the ones to determine when and how we will encounter Him. The exact times and places of that encounter are not up to us. Someone who wants everything to be clear and sure presumes to control God's transcendence. Nor can we claim to say where God is not, because God is mysteriously present in the life of every person, in a way that He Himself chooses, and we cannot exclude this by our presumed certainties. Even when someone's life appears completely wrecked, even when we see it devastated by vices or addictions, God is present there. If we let ourselves be guided by the Spirit rather than our own preconceptions, we can and must try to find the Lord in every human life. This is part of the mystery that the Gnostic mentality cannot accept, since it is beyond its control. And if we relate this, what the Pope said about the nature of the mystery, if we relate it to our reading uh, from the Gospel of, Lysin, uh, of Luke, chapter 24, verses 35 and 48, uh, we are given the confirmation of this, that God's life, in our life, and in, in others' life, is a mystery which we cannot control. In this Gospel passage, um, when Jesus appears to the disciples, the risen Lord appears to the disciples, uh, we can witness to this uncontrollable mystery. The Lord's presence as a free gift, the way in which He communicates His appearances, uh, it shows that God's mystery and life is in control, and it humbles us, it humbles our minds, it prompts us to, to revise 
our decisions, our outlook on the world. And the, the Gnosticism which the Pope mentions is a, is a real is a real danger in human life, in the life of human communities, even in politics. Uh, the Pope's one of the uh, definitions uh, of Gnosticism is that Gnostics, relying on their own decision, they know everything about uh, anything about everything and everything about anything. And when we when we uh, come across with uh, the confidence of politics and the powerful, they present themselves full of confidence. They know the truth, the truth at once in full, an unquestionable truth. What to do in economics? What to do uh, in politics? Who is the enemy of this and that country? When to go on war and justify uh, the causes of it, especially uh, selling weapons and serving their own, uh, own interests economically. So Gnosticism is really a cripple on human freedom because we forget to treat life as mystery and we no longer consult with God's wisdom. We no longer uh, depend on the guidance of the risen Lord who alone can teach us what is real, what is a genuine truth, what is a genuine, how a genuine search for truth looks like. When somebody has an answer for every question, it is a sign that they are not on the right road.